answer. I have my answer. I'm walking on air. <laughs> Here's some more good news. Down and Out in Beverly Hills was funny just a few minutes ago. Now Woody Allen has made a fabulous film called Hannah and Her Sisters. I rank this right with Annie Hall in Manhattan. And someday I predict these will be known as his great New York trilogy. It's the story of three sisters, one a successful actress played by Mia Farrow, another an unsettled woman in love and work played by Diane Weist, and third, the young pretty one played by Barbara Hershey who is ending her relationship with an older man played by Max von Sydow and is tempted by Michael Caine, who is married to her sister, Mia Farrow. So you can see they are one complicated family. I must apologize. I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm so mixed up. Well, how do you expect me to react to such a thing? Well, I, I know, I know, but I am in love with you. Oh, don't say those words. Well, I'm sorry. I know. It's terrible. Well, you know the situation. I know. I, I, I realize. What do you expect me to say? Hannah and I are in the last stages. She's never said anything, and we're very close. You tell me such a thing. But it, it, it's so sad. She's crazy about me, but somewhere on the, along the line, I've fallen out of love with her. Not because of me, I hope. Oh, no, no, no. Well, yes, I love you. Oh, I can't be the cause of anything between oh, you and no, Hannah. Oh, no, no, no. I... It, 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 it was inevitable that Hannah and I part anyway. Why? Well, for a million reasons. But not over me. No, we were, we were both going in different directions. But, but, but how about you? Do, you? do you share any of my feelings, or is this just an unpleasant embarrassment to you? I can't say anything. Well, well, please be candid. I, I don't want you to feel bad. Yes, but I, I have certain feelings for you, but don't make me say anything uh, more, Okay, right? uh, okay, okay. You, you, you said enough. It's my responsibility now. I will work things out. Look, don't do anything on my behalf. I live with Frederick, and Hannah and I are close. Yes, but you, you do care about me. Oh, Elliot, please, I can't be a party to this. I'm suddenly wrapped with guilt just standing here talking to you on the street. Your guilt is because you feel the same. Oh, please, I have to go. I have to get my teeth clean. Now, Woody Allen's character in the film is a TV producer who is also an incredible hypochondriac, and all throughout the film, he's worried he's going to die. He says he has a spot on his back. His assistant tells him it was only a spot on his shirt. <laughs> now, that joke should tell you that Hannah and her sisters is a classic Woody Allen funny picture, and his portrait of the sisters is as rich and as knowing as any of his so-called serious films. What's the whole film about? I think it's the most life-affirming film that Woody Allen has done since Annie Hall. Life with all of its problems is worth living. Things change. There are good times that follow bad times. This is the work of a very, very happy filmmaker and one who clearly is one of the greatest this country has produced, and it's time that people really knew that. And I agree with you. I've just finished teaching a class at the University of Chicago on the films of Woody Allen, so I've just recently seen every one of his films. Now I see right. this one almost at the end of the semester, That's so nice. to speak. Yeah. I think it's the best movie he's ever made, and it is the most affirming. And one of the things that he said a few years ago that has bothered me ever since, Woody Allen once said that there isn't a day of his life when he doesn't seriously think about suicide. Now, that's hard to believe. Not, that, but in this film, this film seems to be an answer to that yes. obsession in which he yes. says, so we do only go around once. So, so what? At least we go around once. Let's mm -hmm. enjoy life while we can. There's a lot there involving the word maybe, too, in a speech mm -hmm. that I can't duplicate because I can't talk That's as well right. as he writes, but it's involving maybe, maybe, maybe. He'll be talking mm -hmm. about life, about God, about a meaning to life and all that. That's very, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. The casting of this film is so special, and I want to prove it to you. Michael Caine, who's, been in, who's a wonderful actor, yes, but he's, he been in, he's been in good films, he's been in bad films. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen Michael Caine use so well in a film that uses his intelligence so well mm -hmm. uh, and puts him in a New York film and we buy it immediately. That's brilliant. Max von Sydow, again, used so very well. This is great casting. Character after character after character. They're not just types. They have very specific things yes. that they say, things that they do, the way they live, the right. places they live in that show that they are people that Woody Allen has given a right. whole lot of thought to, a the, lot of thought. to the part that are on the screen. This is yeah. a movie where you can really touch out and feel life, not just comedy, I but know. life. We talked about how the big laughs in the last film, Don Arbor, these are, if, if you can say it, there are laughs in this film. These are richer, richer laughs. I just love this picture. Okay, two thumbs up.